Madam Speaker, the, the Disabilities Act, which was passed under the last PNP administration, was one of the most <laughs> significant pieces of legislation to be passed in Jamaica in this millennium. It really sought to bring Jamaica's domestic law into compliance with the UN Convention for the Protection of Persons with Disabilities. And Jamaica was, I think, the first signatory to that convention, which was a symbolically significant uh, act at the time. And I, I want to use this opportunity to publicly commend Senator Floyd Morris, who was then a Minister of State in the Ministry of Labor and Social Security and played a significant and important role in getting Jamaica to a place where it was first in line to sign that important UN convention. The act itself took significant work to get ready and to get passed. And when it was passed, it was always anticipated that it wouldn't be brought into effect for a couple of years because the main thing was there's some codes that needed to be developed, but also to afford owners of buildings, both in the public sector and the private sector, to make necessary modifications to ensure access to persons with disabilities. That's a very important aspect of enhancing the rights and amenities available to persons with disabilities because the <clears throat> question of access is real. The absence of ramps for persons with physical disabilities, rails on which they can hold elevators to, um, for buildings with more than one story and so on. These are very important issues. This building that we're in now is not friendly to the disabled. It's very difficult for persons with disabilities to come upstairs. Uh, there's no elevator. And when we were last in office, I initiated uh, an intervention with the University of Carlton, I think it's called, in, in Canada, which is, a, which is an institution with um, a leading program on accessibility rights for disabled persons. And with the UTEC, University of Technology of Jamaica Architectural Department, the, we um, had this building clearly, um, carefully examined. A team came down from the University of Carleton, uh, a team from UTEC, and I think even the UDC were involved at the time, if my memory serves me correctly. And they, came with a series of proposals as to what might be done to make the parliament more accessible to persons with disabilities. And unfortunately, I've not seen any progress made in that regard. This is about seven years ago that that happened. And the building remains more or less as it was then, which is a disappointing thing. Because I think for a parliament not to take the necessary steps that are to ensure that disabled persons can come here and listen to what's being debated and, and to see for themselves what is happening is really um, an indictment on our parliament. And I would urge the government to revisit that because I know there are plans, of course, to build this marvelous new parliament in this green space at Heroes Circle. But pending that happening, we are here in this garden house, and we ought to do what we can to make it accessible. I'm not sure to what extent the necessary adjustments have been made in, for example, public sector-owned buildings to ensure access for persons with disabilities. I would have liked the minister to give us a report on that. Uh, I'm hoping that we have seen significant steps and my own, you know, it's quite apparent that uh, there has been plenty of time for it to be done because at the time we passed this act, we had anticipated to a two-year period before bringing it into effect. 
we have now, I think, gone nearly seven years. It's still not in effect, but at least the minister has announced a date next February 2022 when he intends to bring it into effect. I would just like to know the state of readiness in terms of the preparations around the practical matters that affect persons with disabilities. And access is a, cre is a crucial aspect of that. Access, access in every sense of the word. Access, physical access to buildings, uh, being able to use bathroom facilities comfortably, being able to get upstairs where offices are upstairs. These are all very important things. The, the fact of the matter is that the community of persons with disabilities is one of the most disadvantaged communities in Jamaica. Very high levels of unemployment. Uh, often they live in very difficult circumstances. Their mobility is very challenged. And Jamaica is not a very forgiving place for persons with disabilities. And it, the, the legislation that was passed is designed in part to change those attitudes, to make us more compassionate and understanding of the needs of persons with disabilities who, and to ensure them full citizenship in their own country.